Hi everyone, in the previous video of advanced Java series, we have completed datagram socket example and today we are going to learn URL class. So what do you mean by URL? You might be saying uniform resource locator. Yeah, it's true, but what is the use of it? URL is a pointer to a resource on the internet. Obviously, resource can be a file, can be an audio, can be a video or in a more complex term, it can be a database query. For example, let's say URL is pointing to an HTML file. So how can you locate this HTML file? Through path, right? This is what a URL specifies, but instead of our computer, file resides in some other computer. Example of URL. We can divide URL in several sections. Actually, file resides in some other computer. Hence, we have to specify in which computer file resides. And this www.youtube.com specifies that it is known as authority or host. HTTPS is a protocol or scheme similar to other different protocols such as FTP and other. You can search about them on Google. Then 443 is a port number. As we know in order to establish a connection between two computers we need port number. If you don't specify port number then it will take default port number based on the protocol being used. In case of HTTPS default port number is 443. In case of HTTP default port number is 80. Then this part specifies path of the file. Then this part specifies query input characters to the web page or browser. It is useful to pass value from one page to another. Then anchor or reference is used to point a particular thing on the resource. Let's move to the Java aspect. Signature of URL class public final class URL extends object implements serializable. As you can see, URL is final class, so you can't inherit it. Constructors of URL class, first one, public URL, string spec throws malformed URL exception, creates an URL object from specified string, and malformed URL exception is thrown if the protocol specified in string is invalid or string is null or couldn't have meaning. Example of the constructor URL URL is equals to new URL and the URL plenty of URLs now URL object contains the URL that we have specified in this argument Second constructor public URL URL context strings pack throws malformed URL exception Creates an URL object from specified string and context URL Now there are certain things we have to consider First example, here URL context is a kind of reference. If something is missing in this URL, then it will be filled by this URL context. So in the first one, we have specified all the details. We have specified protocol or scheme. We have specified host or authority. We have specified path of the file. So it won't take anything from the URL context. So now URL will have all the thing that we have specified here. Second example, this time we haven't specified the protocol so it will take it from the URL context. So now URL will have similar to what we have specified but it will take the HTTP pro HTTPS protocol from the URL context. Third example, this time we haven't specified both the protocol and the authority so this time it will take both from the URL context then one thing we should notice here is this forward slash if this forward slash is specified here then this path will be taken as absolute path so protocol and authority will be taken from URL context and then the path of the URL context will be discarded and this path will be appended here so finally we will get youtube.com slash channel another example 
here we haven't specified any forward slash so this path will be taken as a relative path so protocol and authority will be taken from URL context then last one of the URL context path will be discarded and this channel will be appended here so we will get channel two times third constructor public URL string protocol string host string file throws malformed URL exception creates an URL object from the specified protocol host and file example of this constructor as you can see we have specified protocol we have specified host we have specified file now URL contains all these things another constructor just a difference of port number here we can specify port number example as you can see we have specified port number 1080 is our port number then URL contains all these things URL methods first one public string get authority returns the host name plus port number then public integer get port returns port number as integer public integer get default port returns the default port number of the protocol that is being used then public string get protocol returns the protocol name that is being used public string get host returns the host of the URL this get authority method returns host and port number both but this get host method returns the host only then public string get path returns the path of the file or resource then public string get query returns the query part of the URL then public string get file returns the combination of both get path and get query first of all get path and then get query will be appended then public string get reference returns the anchor part of the URL then setter method protected void set string protocol string host integer port string file string reference creates an URL object from all these parameters then another method public string to string as we know to string is inherited from object class and returns the string representation of the object then public URI to URI throws URI syntax exception returns the URI equivalent of the URL let's first understand about the URI URI stands for uniform resource identifier URI is a string of characters used to identify a name or a resource on the internet. Every URL is type of URI but reverse isn't true. URL is more specific form of URI that contains protocol. So URL is equals to URI plus protocol. Let's practically apply what we have seen in this video. I have already written the code so that I will more focus on explaining the code rather than writing it. First of all, this URL, malformed URL exception and URI syntax exception all three resides in java.net package. In order to access them, we need to import them and this three statement does this. Then URL demo, simple class, then public static void main, then try catch in order to handle some of the exceptions as we know some of the constructors and methods might throw exceptions. Then first statement creates a simple URL from string specification. Then this URL one is created using context as we have seen the context example. Here we haven't specified any forward slash. So this path will be taken as relative path and is appended here after first channel for the URL one. Then we simply printing the URL. Then URL dot get authority returns the www.youtube.com colon 1080 with port number then get port simply prints the port number that is used in the URL in our case it's 1080 then get default port number prints the 443 as default port of the HTTPS is 443 then get protocol prints HTTPS then get host prints www.youtube.com then get path prints all this path channel and the UC stuff and other 
without this uh, query or reference then query part prints this username is equals to Vishnu get file simply prints concatenation of both get path and get query so in the output we will get from channel to Vishnu then get ref simply prints Java as we have specified Java in anchor or reference part then equals method equals method is inherited from object class and checks the equality of two objects in our case it prints poles because URL and URL1 is not equal then to string simply printing string representation of the URL object then to URI as we know to URI might throw URI syntax exception so we have to handle it and it simply prints URI here then simple print statement printing URL1 let's execute this program java c url demo dot java then java url demo as you can see everything is printed here in the next video we will see url connection until then this is Vishnu signing off thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe please press the bell icon for latest updates if you have any doubt about the video you can ask me on the comment section Goodbye.